Now, Serge Abrametz, who is the chief prosecutor of uh, the International Residual Mechanism for Criminal Tribunals, noted that the arrest of the most wanted genocide fugitive is another step towards providing justice to the survivors of the genocide against the Tutsi. Uh, Fulgens Kaishema, who is accused of orchestrating the killings of the more than 2,000 Tutsi refugees at Nyanje Catholic Church during the genocide against the Tutsi in 1994. Fulgens was captured on Wednesday in a joint operation between the South African authorities and UN investigators, as he have been in the country since 2001 on the run. Serge Bramertz told RBA that the International Residual Mechanism of Criminal Tribunals will continue to search for all the other fugitives of the genocide against the Tutsi who are still hiding in different countries. It was very much thanks to the support we were receiving from the South African authorities. They had put in place a task force of 20 people from all operational services, um, police, military, intelligence, uh, but also from the director of public prosecutions. And, um, you know, we, we collected a lot of information in relation to persons of interest. And we uh, had initially a larger net of persons of interest, and then we zoomed in over the last persons. And then uh, yesterday morning, search operations were taking place in the house of one of the family members where we really found um, key information about his location. Uh, we took a number of statements, we had interviews, and at the end of the day, this led to locating his place of hiding. Together with the police, my team went to this place and um, he was arrested in the late afternoon. He first denied to be Kaishima, but we found enough documents on him uh, with names of family members to really confront him with this information. And at the end of the day, he, he accepted. Then, long time ago, uh, South Africa was said to not be incorporated with the International Residual Mechanism for Criminal Tribunals, especially in such a cooperation of arresting genocide against Tutsi fugitives. Then, how can you explain this joint cooperation with uh, South Africa and the UN investigators as well? As I just uh, explained, um, mm. we really had a, a breakthrough last year in April when the president decided to uh, put in place a task force. We worked very well with them, and this has been very instrumental in this success. Now, uh, there are still other three remaining most wanted Rwandan genocide against Tutsi fugitives across the globe. Can we hope that those remaining suspects will be arrested through that cooperation with the other countries? And there are still cases ongoing in Belgium and France and elsewhere. Uh, and we are encouraging um, countries around the world to prosecute themselves or to transfer fugitives to, to Kigali. Because what we have seen is that many of those fugitives are hiding uh, among refugees, uh, are hiding there with fake identities, which was the case for Kaishima, who had different uh, identities um, from Burundi, from Malawi, uh, from Eswatini. Um, yeah. He was... Um, being in uh, refugee procedures under different names in different countries at the same time, which shows that very m many of the fugitives obviously are hiding among the refugee communities.